Hi, I'm Orchun Chitintash, and I'm excited to present our work Unifying Short and Long-Term Tracking with Graph Hierarchies. This work is done in collaboration with Gillian Brasso and Laura Leal Teche. First, I'll start with a short overview of the paper. Our model SUSHI is a strong multi-object tracker with a unified solution across time spans and good scalability thanks to its hierarchical nature. SUSHI processes a hierarchy of subclips and performs tracking over long video clips by using the same graph neural network architecture and weights over each hierarchy level. Due to its hierarchical nature, SUSHI is highly scalable and enables processing of long clips efficiently. Specifically, our method excels at long-term tracking and can recover identities even after 512 frames. Finally, SUSHI sets new state-of-the-art results by a significant margin in four diverse datasets. Multi-object tracking is the task of localizing objects as bounding boxes and assigning them a unique identity. It's an essential task for many applications such as autonomous driving, robotics, and video analysis. In this work, we follow the tracking by detection paradigm. Given an input video clip with object detections in every frame, our goal is to link them into trajectories, a process we refer to as data association. Tracking over long videos effectively means solving a spectrum of problems from short to long-term association. When objects are visible, they tend to be detected in most frames. Therefore, data association is performed mostly among objects that are close in time. Several trackers focus on these short-term scenarios. Some examples are regression-based trackers, which regress offsets from previous tracks to predict their future location. While these methods can be reliable in short-term horizons, they fail under long-lasting occlusions. Occlusions might occur over long-time horizons when objects are fully or partially occluded, as object detectors will fail to detect these objects. In these cases, data association will operate over objects on distant frames. The difficulty of tracking under these scenarios is increased, as objects might show larger changes in position and appearance. To gain robustness in these cases, graph-based approaches are a common choice. They model detections as nodes and possible links as edges, and search for global solutions to the data association problem over multiple frames. However, despite being more robust, they have limited scalability, as processing long clips requires building graphs with a large number of nodes and edges. Overall, both short- and long-term trackers have important limitations. Short-term trackers lack robustness under occlusion, and graph-based trackers have limited scalability. This is why several methods combine short- and long-term trackers into multi-level pipelines. However, even when combined with local methods, these trackers are still limited in scalability. In addition, they require engineering different techniques for different levels, which may harm their general applicability. In this work, we introduce a unified and a scalable multi-object tracker called SUSHI. Our tracker performs data association progressively from short to long term by recursively splitting video clips in a hierarchical manner. Our hierarchy is based on a recursive partition of the clip into non-overlapping time windows or smaller clips. At each level, we only consider edges among tracklets contained in small windows of frames. After each consecutive level in our hierarchy, we merge tracklets that are close in time into longer ones. These longer tracklets then become our new set of nodes to be associated at the following hierarchy level. Sushi consists of a set of sushi blocks operating hierarchically over a set of tracklets in a video clip. Each sushi block considers a graph with tracklets from a subclip as nodes, applies a GNN over it, and merges nodes into longer tracks. Edge features are an extension of MPN track to tracklets and are based on spatial and motion-based proximity, time distance, 
and re-ID embedding based Appearian similarity between nodes. Notably, all sushi blocks share the same GNN architecture and weights, hence making sushi unified across temporal scales. To do so, we additionally learn a level embedding for each level in our hierarchy, encoding the specific feature differences to be expected at each hierarchy level, for example, larger time distances or spatial displacements at higher levels. Sushi blocks are stacked in a hierarchical manner. Over multiple levels, sushi blocks progressively merge tracklets into tracks spanning over the entire clip. Overall, the GNN in each sushi block learns to exploit time span dependent association queues, and combined, sushi blocks enable tracking over long time horizons efficiently. In our ablation studies, we analyzed the impact of maximum temporal edge distance and number of hierarchy levels on identity preservation, represented as IDF1. In the first column, it can be seen that increasing the clip length in a non-hierarchical way, way, or in other words, using a single level, can even harm performance. Conversely, given a fixed clip size, increasing the number of hierarchy levels up to nine yields monotonic improvements for all clip lengths. In another study, we analyzed the importance of each edge feature type by reporting the performance loss when they're disabled for some levels. We observed that appearance has the largest impact and motion seems to have a moderate but uniform influence across levels. Lastly, position information is only relevant for short-term association. Qualitatively, we observe how deeper levels in our hierarchy produces longer tracklets, which span over the entire clip at the last level. We also observe that our model is able to preserve identities after long occlusions better than state-of-the-art methods. This can be explained due to its ability to process long clips at once. We report benchmark results over four highly diverse datasets, Mod17, Mod20, DanceTrack, and BDD100K. Our method sets new state-of-the-art results on all four of them by a significant margin, with idea funny improvements of up to more than nine points. These consistent improvements show the generality of our approach and its ability to exploit queues differently over various datasets. We refer to our paper for more details and insights about our method. Our code and models are available online. Thank you for your attention.